Morning guys, welcome. Thank you for the hearts. Come in and enjoy the, the cranes. Well, good morning from the fort. What does that even mean? I know it's, well, this is a Texas October, if that means anything to you. Welcome, hey, Caleb, and, and you. Oh, it's Shasta. Give me that baby. Give me that chubby baby, Shasta. Hi, from Arkansas. Welcome. We are in Texas. We are in sort of northern Texas, sort of Dallas, Fort Worth area. Abilene, Indiana, Colorado, awesome Florida. St. Louis. Hi, come on in. Really? See, we had we had the just the male crane, and then I had to, of course, go get the female crane, but they were over oh, from Norway. Holy cow, we got some from Norway, babe. Oh, Fort Worth, hey. But anyway, so we had the crane somewhere else that I liked them, but then of course my husband moved stuff back here in his jungle of a backyard and you just say, yeah. So we have the husband and the wife. Or, the, or maybe they're just dating, but it's the male and the female crane. Good morning, I'm gonna turn it around in just a second. Thank you for coming on. Y'all please share and swipe, or swipe and share. We're gonna be a lot faster today than we were the other day. It was Lee that made it so long. Welcome from Weatherford, girl. You're just down the street. Weatherford, you're just down the street. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah, thank y'all for swiping, sharing. Thanks, Coach Mary B. How are you? Seattle, what's up, Seattle? Oh, we don't have real crane, sorry. Someone said Lee, they're already happy that you're here. Because I just said you're here. Oh. Hi, good morning, guys. Lee shaved for you, thank goodness. Please swipe and share. I'm gonna do like 30 more seconds. People are saying good morning to you, honey. Good morning. And um, then we're gonna get started. We won't be long. Posting. Yeah, Lee's posting after his reading session out here with his, his coffee and his slippers. From Jordan, welcome. Thanks, Kimberly and Amy. Thank you so much. Good morning, y'all. My girl Britt the other day left a voice memo. She lives in Connecticut, by the way. And she goes, so listen, y'all. And she was like, ha, 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 I don't ever say y'all. Why did I just say y'all? And I'm like, maybe because you're sending something to me. Y'all is just, I mean, it could be some Texas Southern kids first words. I mean, it's just, just how we speak. Fly goddess, I see you. Hi, good morning. Welcome guys. Like 10 more seconds, please swap and share, and I'm gonna roll this puppy around. Ohio! I just posted a picture this morning when uh, from Angie Green's wedding. We were in Toledo, and by the way, my kids had so much fun in Toledo that they were like, what was better, going to Atlantis or Toledo? And I'm like, are you kidding me? But you have to understand, they had so much fun in Toledo because of all those guys. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. They loved it. We we're right on the Mommy River. All right, guys, thank you. I'm about to turn around. Welcome, Nashville. What up? Hey, Louisiana. Brett Peck, that's funny, huh? That's so funny. All right, turn it around. Lee, you ready? Mm -hmm. Lee's always ready. Oh my gosh, he loves Hey guys, good morning. Welcome. Hi, my name is Mindy Lawhorn. This is my husband, Lee Lawhorn. Lee? Hi. Hi. So, um, I want to do the landscape really badly, but it just doesn't seem to work as well. Is it okay if I try landscape? Let's see it. Let's see if I can make this work. Oh my gosh, Michelle Myers is on our podcast. What? What? That's not possible. Michelle, girl, I would have bought five shirts yesterday on the uh, Cross Training Couture big sale for uh, the Women's Fitness, National Fitness Day, but I only got three. And my only reason was uh, that I couldn't find correct sizing. That's all. That's my only reason. So welcome, guys. Let's get right into it. Are you ready to join me, Lee? I'm, I'm here. He's posting and looking at his son dancing around to Christmas music, which, by the way, was happening last night. 
Good morning. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for talking to each other. Before I get started real fast, I just want to tell you about a little rule that actually Michelle and Shalene recommended for me, and I just want to recommend it for you. If there are any negative people that happen to come on this Periscope and say negative things, here's my recommendation. Don't say a word to them. Just block them and get them off of this. This is not made for that. This is made for encouragement and hope. And um, just sharing kind of a little bit of our, hi Nancy, um, lives and kind of what's going on. Uh, you did with Christian's music? That's funny. Anyway, and that's our purpose and that's what we want to do. And we want nothing to um, thwart you from hearing any of this because it just might be what God wants you to hear today. Um, how do you think, is this okay, the landscape version? I need to hear from you guys real fast. Is landscape okay? Hello? Hey, Britt, what do you think about landscape? Yes. Block party. For, oh, <clears throat> that's funny. Sorry, I missed that one. Oh, Is, could you have posted a worse picture? Because you're laughing. This? It's funny. Hey, everyone, Lee shaved. This is great. All right, so real quickly, landscape or full out? Um, Britt, Michelle, landscape, full out, it's fine. We like you bigger. Are you sure? Because right now, actually, I'm a little... Okay. Um, I just need to back it up with something. And back it up. Back it up, back it up. Let me begin party on party, people. How about that? Is Rindy on here? Because she's lost her mind. I know. Um, by the way, if you don't follow a girl by the name of Rindy Cantu, R-E-N-D-I, Cantu as in cannot, Cantu, um, she does the most ridiculous things with her body. She's one of my closest friends. She lives just down the street basically, but she does like handstands on rooftops and on uh, skateboards and upside down photos and her, um, on anything. on anything. And I think she's fantastic. I love her to death. Okay. So let's get started. Welcome. Okay. Everyone first. Yes. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Lee, could you look over here? Lee, there's nothing up there. Look oh. over here. What are we talking he about? He finally shaved and he got a haircut. He left a portion here. I left Awesomeness. He said he left awesomeness. And by the way, that's Lee's five o'clock shadow. But it happens like at noon. <laughs> all right, let me get right into it. First of all, thank you for being here. My name is Mindy Lawhorn, and this is my husband. Hi, what are we doing? We're having a periscope. Say your name. That I know. I've got some uh, words I'm, I'm going to talk to him about. A little bit of hope. Some words. We're going to talk about hope? We're going to talk a little bit about hope. All right, so real fast. Um, hi, my name is Mindy Lawhorn, and this is... I'm still Lee Lawhorn. Lee... They're not dummies. They, you know. Some people could be new. Quit being... Okay, so real fast. Lee is the hardest person to work with ever. We're, we've tried to do this marriage series on videos, and like we've gotten like one, but a an amazing blooper reel. Like we have one legit video and a, an amazing blooper reel. If you haven't seen it, it's on my like page. I'm happy to post it again because that's quite funny. So my name is Mindy Lawhorn. I have the great pleasure of being um, Lee and I founders of a team called Team Fit Life. We have a fitness business online, but honestly, that fitness business has developed into something that we do full time and honestly is part of the way we get to talk to other people about our faith and what we love. Now, while that business has allowed Lee to retire and pays everything, um, it also is a labor of love because we have to get in there every day and do it, but it's allowed us to also um, create a project called Hope in Struggle. Hope, I in struggle. Hope in Struggle is a support series to where we're gonna do diff different topics, but we've just released an ebook and a full 28 day video series that I think is kind of good. And it is something that if you go to hopeandstruggle.com, I'll send you all the info. There's quite a few that you can get for free on YouTube or within our first few emails, but it is something that I just absolutely love it. And God has already sent so many amazing people to us to not only <coughs> work on it with us, but to help us. But we, we're getting asked to speak in, in different arenas. But also, it's opening um, people's hearts just to the idea of God's hope, regardless of what they believe. It's not a pushy thing. It's a very like, hey, here's just some truth. Think about it. Mill it over. Feel free to ask questions and talk. And then let's move on type of thing. So um, what I want to talk to you about today is something within my reading. Every morning I try to read something, and so does Lee, and he may have some feedback on this. But real quickly, if I have to just explain what's about to happen, I'm going to talk a lot, and he's going to add 
maybe seven words and everyone's going to like faint and fall over when he speaks because he's just like, it's like so profound. The struggle is real here. The struggle is real. There is hope. <laughs> he just said there is hope. It's actually really funny. They heard you right there. Like if, if this is marriage and this is love, oh my gosh, let me tell you about it. So he, he keeps me humble. That's for sure. <coughs> no, really, what I want to talk to you today is a friend of mine um, has sent something to me via Facebook and it goes right in line with what I was reading today. And I'm like, gosh, I love these words. She's doing a Bible study real fast. And I want to bring up the whole idea of hope and struggle. Um, sh I basically wondered, you know, why have I gone through so much junk in my life? And by the way, everyone's kind of gone through junk. But I realized that every one of those negative times or struggling times or, or times of tribulation had it got me to another place. It got me to another step. So I'm like, all right, if I can just have hope within this struggle and hard time, God's going to show me something and then I'm going to be able to help people who go through that later on or a version of that. And one of the scriptures for hope and struggle is basically like, God's going to help you through this time if you'll allow him to. And then through that same hope, you're going to get to share that with someone else when they're going through that hard time. So it's kind of like, you know, um, iron sharpens iron. It's like, I want to help you too. So um, please swipe and share if you haven't already, because I'm about to get into the meat of it all. My friend that sent me the Facebook post is in my downline. I honestly don't have much contact with her other than she's on our pages and she's within our training groups. And within our training groups, we train for business, don't get me wrong, but we do not shy away from our faith or what we believe. We don't push it on anyone, but we definitely give reason for our hope. That being said, she sent me a video and said, I just want to thank you because here's what this team has meant to me and what it's spoken to me. And she said, I know you talk about your struggles a lot. Hi, let me fix this. And within her particular um, Bible study, she said, I want to share that these exact words. God can use some of the ugliest parts of our lives to also redeem us. He can redeem some of the most horrible and ugliest, yuckiest parts of our lives for good for his glory and our good if we will allow it. And that we have been rescued to be rescuers. Like think about that for just a minute. You many times have been rescued so that you can have a hand in the rescuing. And I'm not saying you alone will be the rescuer, but you could be the bridge. That intercessory person like we talked about last time, you can be the bridge for someone else. And it doesn't have to be, that's my water, by the way. Does this happen to you at home? My kids drink my water. My husband drinks my water. Go get your own water. I'm the one that took the time to make the work, to make the water. Stay to, on point. To, to, you, you're lost. Uh, I'm, I'm not lost. I'm never lost. So you many times are have been rescued, or you could be right now getting rescued. And I don't mean in a way that you could have dreamt it but in a way that God has a plan for you. Cause, cause I have to be honest. Well, number one, he can make a way where there is no way, but all the ways when I was having struggle and trouble, I'm like, okay, can I see a way out of this? Can I see a way to fix this? And there were so many times I saw a way and the way that God fixed it or redeemed that horrible situation. I could have never dreamt of that. Like he made a way where there was no way. One of the best examples I have, and then I'm going to get right into the scripture and we're going to be done. We're not going to take as long as we did last time, but I posted a picture of Angie Green. Angie Green and Steve Hardy are good friends of ours. And I've known Angie for 13 years. Angie and I were single moms together. We were fitness instructors. I managed along with Christine Dwyer, a lot of the APDs, which is Shalene's and Brett's company it used to be powder blue. And, um, Angie and I were single moms during this time. So we would go to these events where we would learn the new formats or be, to be better presenters or whatever. And, you know, sometimes we would share a room and we would talk about the struggles of being divorced and being a single mom. And we both hated it. And, and, and what a horrible, yucky thing to have. Like, I feel like I have a stamp on my forehead. Or I did feel that way. And while I still am, and I don't believe that that's God's will, like that's not God's desire and his hope, but it's where my life ended up. But God redeemed that through this guy. 
And God can take... He's a crier. I am a crier. But God can take some of your ugliest times. You guys think about it. And he can redeem them for his good if you'll let them. And for your good, not just, oh, my life sucked, but I'm okay. It's We're not here to have this amazing, beautiful, freaking awesome life. Although it's possible with the right attitude. We're here for so much more to learn, to grow, and to help others. So... Let me get into the scripture, and I'm going to be out. Lee's going to add, I'm sure, some words of wisdom here in a minute. But one of the things that I want so wholeheartedly, and real quickly, this is my current Bible study, Becoming a Woman of Prayer by Cynthia Heald. And it's H-E-A-L-D, and I cannot uh, impress on you. Like, they're, they're, they're small. You can write in them. You know, it's one of those things that anything by her is going to be great. But I love a study because I just, sometimes I just, like, where do I read? Do you like just like start flipping through the Bible and go, uh, here. And you know, start reading. And while I don't think that God can't work through that, I just need something to read and then something to kind of follow. So with this particular Bible study, it's about just becoming a woman of prayer. And while I do pray, I want to become a woman of prayer more. And I want to be able to pray at all times and intercede for people and just realize that with every year that I get older, God is, wants me to become more mature and become a more mature mom, wife, Christian, business, business owner, and everything. But that's only going to happen through me seeking to be better and through the struggles and what I can learn from that. So one of the things this Bible study said today about rescuing and being redeemed and even that yucky, nasty stuff of our life can somehow help others if we're not afraid to share it and grow from it is that we have to be willing and wanting for God's glory to be evident in this world and how that all begins is with us. He can use us and he can use the most messed up, beat up vessel that you can think of. And if you don't believe me, just read some of the Old Testament and the New Testament. God didn't use the fastest, strongest, most beautiful person, the most intelligent. He used the underdogs. He used people um, that were poor, that were seen by society of that time as like the worst of the worst. They were people that had stutters and speech impediments. And like, I just think about like, although this doesn't compare to God's people, but like Rudy, you know, like Rudy, I can think of like Kung Fu Panda for the love of Pete. Think of all the underdogs that you just love. And there's something about that. So we don't have to be ready. We just have to be willing and want for that to be evident. So I'm going to share some scripture with you. And then I would ask for you to maybe add a few words. I'll see what I can do. See what I'm going to work with. And then we'll be out. Um, here's the scripture for today that I wanted to share with you. It's in Psalms. And it's Psalms 145, 13 through 16. This was not only my Bible study, but this is something that I had um, as part of my Hope and Struggle series. I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about fear, like a series on fear which fear is like, there's no, there's nothing spoken about more in the Bible. I believe than love and fear. Like so weird. It's like, did they go together? They actually kind of do. So Psalm, Psalms 145, 13 and 14. I'm reading from the new King James version. If you're like, that's not what my Bible says. It's a version of this. So the Lord upholds all who fall. The Lord upholds all who fall. He raises up those who are bowed down. Now let me real quickly talk about bowed down. Bowed down just means being humble, having humility and realizing that I am the best is actually not true. I am, I've got this. I have confidence. No one's going to beat me. Actually, I'll be quite clear. Many people will probably beat me, but I want God's will more than I want my name to be glorified. And it's like, when you think of that, things sort of change a little bit. So the Lord upholds all those who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. Just lovingly want his will rather than their own. The eyes of all who look expectantly on you and you give them their food in due time and due season, which just means God is going to take care of you no matter what you're going through. He's going to give you exactly what you need at exactly the right time, not when you want it or when you think it should come, but exactly the right time. Open your hand to God and he will satisfy the desire of every living thing. And God, that's so amazing. And I have to be honest, it stinks at the same time. Because what that means is we need to wait on him. And patience is one of the hardest things ever. But even Lee and I are kind of going through a few things right now just with like stuff in life. And 
And I woke up about a hundred times last night thinking about it and praying about it. And all I know is that I can't see a, tr a real clear path. But what I do know is that scripture is true. God is going to give us exactly what we need at exactly the right time. And he's going to make a way where there is no way, even when we can't see the way out. That was Psalm 145. Psalm 145, 13 through 16. Because I think in Psalms, I think the term steadfast love in one translation or another is said in there almost, I want to say 146 or 147 times. Throughout, Stead, throughout Psalms. Steadfast love. Steadfast love. God's steadfast love. He is always there, no matter what's happening. So, I thought that was pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And one thing about that is many times I have been like, God, where are you? What the heck? You know, this is rough. We have, What did we do wrong? You know, you start asking all these poor me questions. And the, the simple fact is he doesn't leave you and he will never leave you or forsake you. Water. He may not be like right here. And you may not feel his hand like on your shoulder, but he will never leave you or forsake you. And that is the sheer truth. And it's said over and over and over again. But if you ask for him to show you his presence, I mean, he will. He does it to me almost every day, especially when I ask. I'm like, just show me in that like little weird way that no one else would get with me, but me. And he almost always does. And it's like, hmm, okay, thank you, God. I trust you. I love you. I want your will more than mine. And it is so hard and like I get choked up thinking about it right now because I'm like, we're not doing anything wrong. Why does sometimes we have trouble? And it's not about making everything right for us in this life. It's about our growth and how we can help others. And it's a season of learning. Anyone else? You want to have a, you want to say anything else, baby? Um, one of the things that you were talking about being a rescuer, and I don't know if that's the correct term or not. I would have the ability to rescue somebody. To be a, a helper okay. in that but is what I mean. In giving someone a boost, but what we as Christians have to be willing to do is to put ourselves out there to be transparent. So, for example, you guys know I have cancer. Now, I don't go around advertising the fact that I have cancer, but I don't hide it either. Because if I did hide that, then these other people that I hear from all the time that are dealing with cancer diagnoses and, and various and sundry other health issues. You said what, various what, and sundry. Who says that? People with educations. Oh, I got education too, boy. It plaques on the wall. Wichita Falls, I don't know. Um, that is true. Um, just kidding. Um, where was I? You Some, were just saying be transparent with some of your struggles. And I mean, not like, oh, look at me, I have this, but... This could help someone. Right, but you have to be willing to put yourself out there because there are people that need to know that other people are going through what they are going through. And it's not wah wah, we got cancer. <laughs> it's okay, we got cancer and it sucks, but guess what? We still have a great life and we're still learning. So I think it's the upswing that gives people hope. But um, I love it when Lee talks about kind of up and down stuff because it's hard for man to be, I think, um, vulnerable it's crazy for girls because we're like whatever let's talk you got any cheese and wine so we can really talk mm -hmm. guys just don't you know do that but there's such a strength that comes with that so um i get you i get it you get it can we pray we can pray all right we're gonna pray and then if you want to ask questions or something i know exactly but god you know what's so funny i've reconnected with a girlfriend of mine from high school and i remember she wore this shirt she was one of those girls and at school that just like she carried her Bible with her books and she would wear like Jesus shirts like back when like hard, there was hardly any Jesus shirts and I remember people would always kind of say stuff I mean they wouldn't like really make fun but she was like oh that girl and I remember I was always like I <coughs> love that girl anyway her name is Beverly and she wore this shirt that said God is just God is that's it and then she had another one that said but God da 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 and I remember one time okay I was already a Christian but I remember one time I sat down and I was like God is what and she goes fill in the blank and I was like god dumb you know what I, mean? I was like oh just meant God is I mean he is anything and then God you know I see no way out but but God you know when I was a single mom I saw no hope so poor and so broken I didn't like guys and there was none that fit me and by the way people set me up with guys and I'm like that's what you think of me they're like but he's so nice I'm like yeah but I don't want none of that Anyway, and then I go to a funeral and, but God, 
made a way where there was no way. And we could go that, over so many things about that. But so true and so awesome. And we're not going to keep any longer, but let's pray. Lee, you want to start? Sure. Lee's going to start. And we're going to go for you. So we're just going to pray. And you guys, this is what I'm asking. Hide your chat or just turn your phone around. Because as Michelle says, you know, just bow your heads. And even if you're not sure what you believe, just let us pray for you. And just like open your heart to the, at least our words and, and, and see what God can do through that. And then I'm going to hide our chat just because I don't like seeing nothing in case I look up. But um, please hide yours too. Let's pray for you real fast and then we'll be back on. And you can ask Lee as many questions as you want about his facial hair if that is something you're interested in doing. Okay. All right. Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you so much for this opportunity to reach so many people through this little tiny app. So much fun to see other like-minded people and, and their struggles and um, their struggles to reach others, Jesus. I, I pray that this in some way glorifies you. Yes. And that through these people, we reach other people yes. in order to make you even more famous. Yes, Jesus. Lord, I love you so much. And I just thank you for this time, God. Gosh, I thank you just for creating avenues and paths for your word to be shared, Lord God. And I thank you for that, Lord. And I just... I just lift up everyone on this Periscope right now and the people that are watching this later on the recording, God, I just lift them up to you. I pray that you will just draw them to you, whether they know what they believe or whether they're in a hard time right now or they're not understanding what's going on, God. I pray that you would fill their hearts, that you would reach them in a way that only you can do. I, I pray, Lord, that God, you would allow us to be vessels. And Lord, when I said earlier, we've been rescued by you so that we can be rescuers. I don't mean that we alone are the, you know, superhero rescuers, but Lord, that we can be a vessel to reach others and point them back to you. Lord, I lift up those that, that are trying to reach others for you. I lift up those people on this podcast that get it. Podcast, sorry, Periscope, that get it. I did it again. I'm so sorry. Lord, you know what I mean. And I just thank you for your word, God. I thank you that it's timeless. And I thank you that we can just go read it and see where it fits in our lives now. Lord, I lift up Lee and I right now as we're kind of going through our own version of things. Lord, it's just another avenue for you to work. It's another avenue, God. And you're going to come in like a mighty warrior, Jesus. And you're going to just blow this out of the water. You're going to make a way where there is no way. You're going to somehow do it. And I am confident in that because that is what you say in your word. And I believe you. God, I lift up all of our friends that are on this scope. I lift up the people within our team. I lift up our coaches. I lift up hope and struggle. And I lift up Michelle Myers ministry. Oh God, what an amazing person she is. And I just adore her. She is my sister and she is a pocket person and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Lord, but I love you. And I just thank you for this day. I pray for October. I pray that October will be a time where people can reach their goals. They can set goals, Lord God, and, and a month of second chances. I love you, Lord Jesus, and I just lift all this up in your name. I thank you for everyone that's on here, and I pray that you will give them power and hope for today. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Woo! Thank you, and thank you guys for staying on. Um, the chat is open. What's up? Is this too close? Is this too close? Hi. Thank you so much. Okay, now I can, now I can read. Like, 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 like this. I please, please, someone take a picture of this. I can't. I can't even. Lee, do the one eyebrow thing. Go like this. That's nice. Hi. Yes, this is, this is it. This our, is house. our house. Is that what, I think she said something before that. This is our house. Actually, this is our, like, um, little patio area. I, I don't, is that what you call it? Where we have a fireplace? Which, by the way, we may have to use it soon. And then this is our outdoors, if that's what you're asking. Oh, look at the cranes. I need advice on marriage. Okay. We'll give it a shot. Like, we're by no means counselors. Yes, we have dogs. Oh, do you need to see our puppies? Come here. <laughs> by the way, uh, Lola and Charlie get more likes than Lee and I do, so I made our own. I made an Instagram. Actually, Janelle uh, Summers and I are like, let's do it, because her dogs get a bazillion likes. I'm like, okay, let's uh, let's make one for the dogs. What can, um, someone said something about marriage? Well, I'm happy, we're happy to say something. Oh, Lola, this, stop, stop. This, that's, okay, this is Lola. Lola, hi. This is Lola. Lola, hi. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yes, she'll Go get Kaiser. Go get Kaiser. Go get Kaiser. 
And by, the, and by the way, Kaiser's the dog next door, and he's not even home. But Lee can say that, and they're like, wah, I'm going to go get Kaiser. Hey, who, who had the marriage question? I'd love to talk about that. I've got, I want my wife to accept Jesus. Pray. Pray that God will open her heart, and I'll be quite honest. I think you should pray that he will come to her. And we will pray for that, too. We'll pray for that, too. But come to her. This sounds really silly, but come to her in a vision or a dream. Come to her in a way that, like, she, she would believe it. You can't make her, and you can't push it. It's going to make her run the other way. That is that is our prayer and our best advice. Marriage is hard. Keep praying. And, and pray um, for him, not in a selfish way, because um, I'm not sure you do that, but when I pray for what I want because I want it, um, things don't seem to come out. Pray it because it's God's will and, and God's glory, and God wants everyone to come to the knowledge of him. I mean, pray that somehow, some way, God and I mean, Jesus will become real to both of them. And that prayer will always be heard. Pray, and it will be in God's time. When you were a single mom, did you feel like you could, oh yeah, totally. I felt like I was totally used, uh, being used, but it's, I was embarrassed. I have to be honest. I hated it. And ugh, like I just, even today, I still like get chill bombs. I get a weird kind of feeling in my gut, almost like a fear. Um, because I remember just barely making the bills. I remember when Lee and I, when I sold that house that I had and <laughs> Lee and I were thinking we were going to make money and we just couldn't because I was, I mean, I, I mean, I was barely keeping my head above water and there's a song, by the way, if you need a song, you may already know this, but, um, it's by Hillsong and it's called Oceans and that makes me feel like I felt when I was single because I didn't drown, but I was in the water dog paddling. I was keeping my uh, eyes above the water. I was embarrassed because I was a Christian and I wanted nothing more than our marriage to work. And there was just some bad stuff. And um, yeah, no, God can use that now. And I do not like divorce. Um, and I don't advocate it, but I am a living, I'm a product of it. And technically so is Lee, but God can redeem some of our ugliest spots. So yes, that is Hillsong. Those are the Hillsong songs and man, Oceans. I'm not kidding. Y'all just play that and just see what happens. It is awesome. God can use it for his glory. He can. Oh, I know. I love Moses. Yeah. And think of Paul. I mean, are you kidding me? He killed Christians. <coughs> killed them. And then worked his whole life for that redemption. I mean, and Oh my gosh. I know I love the ocean song. Okay, what else? Any more questions? Thank you so much. Oh boy. Oh, Coach Glitter. That'll be like a four hour periscope. Um, no, but I, I, I did tell them that I met Lee at a funeral. Um, we've been told we need to write that book. Like, oh. like that's a crazy book. Like that book would sell because it's like, it's like scandalous. It's like, I mean, if you want scandal, read the Bible. Then second, read how we met. Like, it's just craziness. Um, Oceans. Oh, darn it. I missed it. Anybody have any questions? And I'm sorry we keep missing it. That would be pretty crazy. I'll, I'll be crying the whole time. We should write it. Listen, I have Britt Peck on my side. She'll help me. Thank you, Joni. I don't want, yeah, at a funeral. I don't want it to be scary because here's the thing. I've had a lot of people go, I like you, but I don't like Christians. And I'm like, well, I'm a Christian. But the thing is, they no, I get that. They thought I totally get that. that, you know when you think, um, please send me a message. Who's ever saying that? Absolutely. Here's the thing, though, is like, think of that Christian or the, even that Zumba instructor that you don't like or that wasn't a good class. Now, every time you think of Zumba, you're like, ugh. I mean, think about, so I, there's plenty of Christians I've met. They're like, well, I'm a Christian and you should do this. And I'm like, I don't want to play with you. It, it, it's, as, you're not supposed to judge. Hello. And if you get on telling me I shouldn't be in a bathing suit on Instagram, then you don't understand my mission. My mission is to reach the n n people who don't believe. And by the way, people that don't understand, like that's not, I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing a bathing suit. Now I don't think you should like flaunt your business all the time. But people that have said that to me, I'm just like, I'm sorry, please don't talk to me anymore because you don't understand. You use your avenues, I'm gonna use mine. Because it simply says at the end of Matthew, go and make disciples of all nations. That's what it says. You need to do what it is you do and use the avenues that God has opened up for you. Now, if he changes your heart and he wants you to maybe angle things differently, fine. But 
uh-uh, don't come preaching to me when I'm getting to talk to so many people. Um, really, my whole life I've known Jesus. I actually just did an interview about this, but when I was 12, I remember by myself reading this little pamphlet my grandmother gave me, kind of nailed it down. So since 12, I guess. Anybody have questions for Lee in his new haircut? Nobody cares about my... Uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, I caught it. Uh, oh, we're back. We're back. We're tilted, but it's okay. Kurt, we're going to pray for you. I do too. I want everyone to. That was a sign. Yeah. Okay, fine. Then we have to go. Is that what that means? Coach Glitter, you're still here. You're not off yet. All right, how about one more question and we'll go. You never flaunt your stuff. Oh, thank you. By the way, um, Coach Glitter's on. Please follow her. She does a podcast every day. Podcast. She does a Periscope every day, and they're always awesome. I love her, and she helps me not look so silly. Someone does a Bible study. I barely call it. Someone does a Bible study, want to invite you or something like that? Absolutely, absolutely. All right, cool. We don't want to keep you guys any longer. Uh, we're happy to answer a question if you've got one, but if not, question for Lee. When did you know Mindy was the one? <laughs> I'm happy to answer that. Lee, tell him. Yeah, it was pretty much within the first 10 minutes. What? So... I wore my She-Hulk shirt. Tell it, Lee. How do you know? So pretty much within the first 10 minutes. Yeah. That's not common, though. Yeah. He had been single for like seven years. But that the story that doesn't even do it justice. You got to know the story. It's you ridiculous. do have to know the story, it's but just ridiculous. seriously, saw him across a crowded room. It's that was actually a horrible time. Yeah, it was. But bad. But, but again, perfect example of God's redemption in uh, that time. Birth family, funerals, adoption, adoption, dated his brother. Like seriously, yeah, like it's, it's, it's a scandalous. It's, it's, story okay i'll clarify the fact that i didn't know my who my brother was or no he was my brother when you dated him yeah he Lee was adopted it's, it's like so hard he didn't meet him until he was like 35 and then i had already moved out of town and i was like married and then i was not ugh, it's like a whole long story but it's really funny um lee has cll chronic chronic lucidic what do you have cancer before knowing mindy yeah he did uh chronic lou chronic lymphocytic leukemia by the way, he told me he had cancer within like, well, our first date, which was hours from when we were I kind of knew I was, you know, I, you know, I wanted Mindy. So I was going to go ahead and lay that on her and see what she said. If she didn't, you know, I wasn't going to waste her time and I didn't want to get all caught up and, you know, so. Oh. And I just remember going, okay, he's cute. I'll take him. He's defected, but, I'll, you know, defective, I'll take him. He's defected. If whatever. Why do you got to do that? Because. Just let it go. No one will even notice that I said that wrong word. We were married eight years. Like glue. <laughs> eight years. Um, and we met probably a year before that, technically. All right, guys. I don't want to keep you. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you for swiping and sharing. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Stomach cancer's rotten. Oh, if you hate so being hard. corrected, don't say anything wrong. Oh, Lee corrects me all the time. Seriously, God humbles me and my husband humbles me. And sometimes I'm like, <coughs> we're married, right? Like, I'm your wife. I'm like your number one, right? Because I sometimes, I'm not sure. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being on. My hope is that Lee and I can do these maybe twice a week. It's really hard to work with. Um, but um, awesome of 25 years. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Y'all, please go to hopeinstruggle.com. There's lots of free stuff, but I, that is a labor of love, and my whole hope is that that will grow into something um, much bigger because I believe God has a plan with that. I don't think you know what you're asking about that story. What do they want? Uh, they want us to do, uh, someone said about do a four-part scope on how we met. Oy, oy. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for being on. Have a great day. Today's Thursday. Yay. Happy October. Hey, it's October. I have a I have a um, accountability thing for you. Why don't you set a whole new list of goals for this month? And then it's technically 
30 days, 30 days and 30 days makes 90 days. You could do a 90 day goal to the end of the year. Why not? Why not? That's what changes everything. It's what changes everything for us. Making goals, sticking to them, and praying. Bye, guys. See you later. They want from sure, DiChapa. From DiChapa. He, we'll figure something out. I don't know how. What do you we'll have? Oh, he's got Haverty Grace on. He's got a really boring, well, you know. Your sister gave it to him. So no, we nice. don't do that at all. No, thank it's you. It's a celebrity. What no, a celebrity? I don't know. But I don't, I don't do that at all. Although I'm happy to dress up any other day of the year. All right. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye. Ching. Lee, smile. One more. Ching. Bye, California. Our